Virgos, hey y'all, hey. Welcome back to your quick read. This is Empress Meek for all my newcomers. Thank you guys for your love and support, your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. Thank you guys so, so much for all you do for our channel. Let's go ahead and get started. If you're waiting on your personal reading, I got almost all of them out. I have a few that are uploading. So just be patient with me, my love. Let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides. Give me clear and concise messages for the Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, and North Node. Thank you for using me as a vessel, a channel of love and light for them on their path. Show me clear messages about what they need to see regarding their person. What is it that's hidden from my Virgos at this time? What do they need to know for their higher good regarding whoever this is that they're dealing with? Whoever might have them on their mind or whoever my brothers might be thinking about what's happening here. Let's see. Thank you for your divine hand of protection and cleansing this space. Welcome you guys to your quick read. Let's see what's going on. Your intuition could be telling you something about someone. Your self-care is more important right now. Using your intuition... Um, when it comes to something being strictly sexual, underneath the bottom of the deck, unavailable. This person is unavailable to give you all you deserve. So somebody in your energy is unavailable and they're not being honest about their situation. Somebody could know that they're not capable of giving you the love you deserve or the time or the energy that you deserve from them. And they could be kind of stringing you along or not really showing their full hand right and sometimes we all do that where we don't want to show somebody everything that we have in our basket like we don't want you to know everything because we might not choose you at the end of the day um but when you're approaching somebody or you're trying to get to know somebody it should be an equal effort in conversing and exchanging information and trying to find that common ground where you both can be open and expressive to each other right but um it's some kind of um I feel like it's not an equal give and take here. It's an uneven playing field. That's what I was about to say. Somebody is not available. They're not emotionally available and open for what you're ready for. Okay. So that's the energy here. Somebody could be hiding this or just not telling you that. All right. And we have obstacles. It says unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. Right. So, so there's some type of unhealed wounds that are needing to be tended to. All right. This could be from the past. Somebody could have had their heart broken before and they aren't fully healed. Um, even though they don't want to be lonely and they are out and about, this doesn't mean that they're ready. All right. And this could be you, Virgo. So you take it how it resonates. This is a very general reading, but this is what I see here as far as the obstacles. Um, it could be anything, but whatever this is, Unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. I've really felt the energy of the past, like something having to do with the past. And then you're being told to use your intuition. It says you already know the answer you seek. You already know the answer you seek with this intuition card. So you could be thinking and contemplating, running things back over and over in your head. You could know because you feel the answer, but you want some confirmation and this is your confirmation. It's coming. We're going to clarify this situation, but for somebody, it's confirming the fact that this relationship or situationship or this union is strictly sexual, something based on strictly sexual energy. It says this connection is passionate, but not enduring. All right. So... There's a lot of passion here, a lot of chemistry here, a lot of sexual attraction, but somebody here is not on the same page with their person. There's something missing. It's like lack here. I feel that and I also feel fear. Um, Somebody's fearing the unknown, not knowing what might happen and somebody is just not open, not ready to settle down or build a foundation with anyone at this time. It's like they're more interested in having a lot of fun. All right. They're more interested in fulfilling their own needs. Then we have self-care. So with this self-care is saying cleanse your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. All right. So there's a need for you to cleanse yourself, purify your energy, pull away, spend some time alone, just clearing your mind and focused on nothing. 
clearing your energy would be beneficial at this time, okay? So if it's something where you're making up your mind or you're about to go towards someone or somebody is around you, maybe whatever this is that you're thinking about doing, you need to clear your energy, cleanse the external noise, cleanse the internal noise, and kind of focus on getting an answer. Ask the divine to guide your way, okay? That's what I'm getting here. Somebody knows that they're unavailable to give you all you want. And I see you here trying to give this person the benefit of the doubt, but it's not worth it. But you're going to have to see. For some of you guys, you're so hell-bent on having this relationship work, having this connection work with this person. It's like nobody can tell you that this won't work. Nobody can tell you that this is not your person. You believe it with everything in you for somebody, right? And so life is going to have to show you. As this situation plays out, you're going to learn that this person is unavailable to give you what you deserve and what you need, right? You're going to find that out. Sometimes we got to find out the hard way. It makes gives us tougher skin. It makes our intuition elevate more. It opens us up to really be able to see the truth and not give certain people the benefit of the doubt that never earned it. They never had to do anything. You just did it because of what you want to be true. All right. And um, this is not, that came off like kind of tough love, but somebody really needs to hear that because sometimes we just need a knock, that knock on the door that gets our attention so we can turn away from whatever had us in a trance and really see the reality of a situation. All right. So let's see what other kind of energy is around you at this time. Um, Let's find out the truth about this connection as well. So real quick, let's get a couple truth cards about this situation. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Guides. Show me the truth about this situation. Look at that. Some type of conflicting information. I feel like you guys, when you're talking to this person, it's like somebody kind of talks a lot. So to the point where it's like they, they're telling, it makes you feel like they're telling you everything and they're very open. But truth be told, there's some things that this person is holding back. There's some things that this person is not unleashing. And it definitely is triggering your intuition here to ask questions. All right. And you want to know. Some of you guys are thinking about getting a personal reading on this person. If you want it, get it at closer, the number two, mydestiny.com. All right. There you can find prices and see what other what types of other types of readings I offer. Let's see. You can even get um, a book of tarot cards or love oracle cards. I have those as well. If you wanted to pull cards on this person. All right. Again, that card came out earlier. Somebody is involved in a twin flame union. We're just getting some truth about this relationship for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. These cards are jumping all over the place. Toxic, unhealthy relationship patterns. So... This person could be kind of disrespectful. This man is covering his ears while this person look like they're talking, pouring their heart out. So it could be somebody who's not paying attention to you, not feeling val, making you not feel valued or fulfilled. All right. Sometimes it's good, but when it's not good, it's really bad. And I feel like somebody is kind of embarrassed about this because you are so happy about this situation. But truth be told, it's not going the way you expected. And you're kind of just rolling with the punches. You don't want to be embarrassed. All right. Some people told you that you need to take your time with this person, but you know, you were following your heart instead of your intuition. But now your intuition is here saying you already know the answers. We warned you, right? Your intuition warned you. Ashamed. It says embarrassed, embarrassed about past behavior, strictly sexual. So somebody is embarrassed about their past behavior. Somebody could have really only focused on sex when they were with you at one point in time. And they're kind of embarrassed about that. Now you're caring for yourself, Virgo. And you're doing your best to try to cleanse your energy of all this negative, toxic energy. All right. You're trying your best to just focus on you. Let's see more. Let me see a little bit more. It says filing papers, divorce or separation in the near future. So eventually you're going to make the move necessary to free yourself from this troublesome situation. For some of you guys, it's just starting. We don't really see all of this unfold just yet. You just have the feelings. And this is an indicator that you need to listen to your intuition because your gut feeling is not wrong. Okay. 
um, with this unavailable sexual chemistry, but no depth that was stuck to disconnect. This connection is moving to the next level. All right. So some of you guys have that expectation that you want this relationship to level up, but really it's no chemistry. I mean, it's no depth, but it's sexual chemistry. So it's like you guys are good together when it comes to the bedroom or showtime, but really there's nothing here. It's not what you expected. This is for somebody. Um, if you're with a person and you're kind of settling um, just because you don't want to be wrong about them, just because you don't want to admit that, damn, I should have waited, you know, this could be your situation. But that's what I have here for somebody. Let's get some more energy out and see what else might be surrounding you at this time. I'll put these cards to the side. We're going to clarify these with the tarot to see what else you need to know about this energy that popped out. But real quick, let me tap into the image, the energy around you regarding this person. Let's tap into the surrounding energy. What are the feels going on between Virgo and their person? What are the feelings? What's going on? What does my Virgo need to know at this time about this situation? Whoever this is unavailable, what do they need to know about? This person not being available. It's like they're, it says they're unable to give you all you deserve and single is here. Independent, freedom from attachment, available to date. So somebody could be single and you guys are just dating. All right. You and the other person could be single and you guys are open to see whoever you want to see. Or this card is telling you that you're better off single and free. Free from worry, free from annoyances, all right? Free to focus on yourself. This could definitely be what's coming out. Show me obstacles. It says unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. For some of you guys, you are single and really enjoying it. You don't have any intention on getting serious with anyone. But you don't want to entertain people that aren't worth your time and energy. Show me obstacles. Foresight. It says unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement and something is gonna happen in the future in the few days in a few days or a few months, some type of direction forward. So it's gonna be different for everyone. But as far as these obstacles and unhealed wounds, you're gonna see some positive movement forward very soon. Show me intuition. What's going on with the intuition? You already know the answers you seek. Many of you have great foresight and it's safe to follow your gut. It says you already know the answers you seek. Somebody could be spreading rumors, petty conversations, smearing your image, making you look like the fool. All right, so it's somebody that doesn't have anything better to do but gossip about your business. Somebody is kind of envious, very jealous, and they're focused way too much on you and what you're doing instead of focusing on themselves. All right, sometimes people are in such a low vibration, they don't have anything else better to do but talk to somebody who actually is doing well. All right, so somebody is jealous or sad or just feeling low. This person looks like they're feeling really low. All right, and you already know the answers you seek. You know why, all right? You know why whoever's gossiping is gossiping. Somebody could be having petty conversations about you or gossiping about you. Show me strictly sexual. And I feel like if somebody is gossiping, um, I feel like somebody is just mad because you're figuring out that they're unavailable. It's like you're figuring out their game, their trick, their trap. Like you're not pressed. So somebody wanted you to show more interest than you showed. Somebody wanted you to kind of be in this energy where you're chasing them and you're on their heels and all of this stuff and you did not. Right? Some of you just are like, no, that's not how I feel. I'm good, right? Children could be involved. Or either this person is very immature. In immaturity, right? With this strictly sexual. Show me more about this child card. Yeah, somebody is childish. And it could be somebody that you're dating. Somebody is acting like a child or had they are very immature when it comes to um sex and passion. Being very lustful. Because I feel like somebody here is kind of lustful. You know, that's what the other card was showing. Like somebody is not really into leveling up. All right. Somebody is just focused on having fun. 
and they could have showed you a side of themselves that made them embarrassed all right but um with this unhealthy relationship pattern somebody knows that they're toxic Right, somebody is out doing whatever they want, they're not really caring, and it's a twin flame here. So, you could feel a very strong connection with this person, but it's tricky for you to learn. This person is definitely teaching you something. This has something to do with family, maybe spending more time with family would help you clear your energy field, or somebody has been dealing with their family a lot lately, and it could be some type of toxic energy, right? It could be a lot of energies pulling at you, and it's time for you to. Kind of clear your energy field and distance yourself. Spend more alone time. With this dismiss, disregard, ignore, look the other way or leaving behind. Wow, somebody could feel left behind by their family. You could feel like somebody's not even, they don't care what you're doing. Somebody's not checking on you. Ever since some type of split, they're not checking on you. It could be you choosing to be with this person against what everybody else is saying. Somebody feels like their family is not checking on them. Show me gossip. You can feel like your, your family is always gossiping about your information. Um, but you're protected, my love. Protected aura, divine intervention, guardian, angel, and shielding. Protecting you from the naysayers. Every tongue rising up against you in judgment is being condemned as we speak. Because the Holy Spirit is protecting you. The divine is protecting you from gossip and negative people and people talking trash or or trying to tarnish your reputation you're getting protected and whoever's doing that they're gonna get their karma they're gonna have to deal with the most high on that okay they will mark my words they will show me foresight definitely protect um definitely um protected somebody could be trying to project their own negative energy onto you or their own distorted vision of you and what you're capable of and what you deserve. But don't let that affect you, my loves. Y'all stay strong and stay um, ten toes down on what you believe. Especially when it comes to you and who the Most High says you are. Like, don't ever let nobody talk down to you and try to make you feel like less than what you are. Remember, if they're not talking about you, then uh, first of all, they're going to talk about you. Whether you're winning or whether you're losing. All right. And if they're talking about you, then that means you're doing something right. And sometimes envy is 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 tough because it comes from somebody admiring you, but they don't have the guts enough to tell you, nor do they have the confidence to believe in themselves enough to match your energy. So it's always something. So somebody is choosing the low road. They can choose the high road and acknowledge you, be kind, be welcoming be warm or they could choose a low road where they're looking at it like a bad thing and they're jealous and hateful and negative and spreading rumors all right we got frozen not speaking a stone wall and not taking action all right this is talking about um this is talking about you and you could definitely be ignoring or avoiding somebody that is very childish and immature for some of you guys it could be a family member and this could be what's on your mind like, this is all we ask for whoever you're dealing with or who might be dealing with you. Somebody could feel stuck, locked down in a mental prison or held captive. Somebody feels trapped. And it could be in a relationship or in a bad situation. <laughs> you heard the saying, we don't get to choose our family members, right? Somebody could be dealing with that. Not being able to choose their family members. Let's go ahead and dive in. Let's get the tarot and get some more clarity on this situation and see what really is happening here. Let's see. Let's see what comes out. I'm going to use my tarot deck that I created for you guys. And let's see what the word is. So show me unavailable. Who is this that's unavailable to give Virgo what they desire? Let's see. Single. Sorry, guys. Ten of Pentacles energy. So somebody is worried about, I'm um, focusing on your security. Somebody's building their empire. This Ten of Pentacles is talking about um, you wanting a relationship possibly, or you wanting to be grounded, um, maybe work on some things and somebody not able to match your energy or give you what you deserve or desire. And then we got obstacles here. 
Because I feel like you're focused and you want a new beginning. With the king of pentacles here, success, power, and maturity, um, wealth, and responsible, all right? So this is talking about you having great foresight, you knowing that there are certain things about you that you need somebody to respect, you need somebody to meet you halfway, and you definitely need somebody to be healed because it's triggering and you could be kind of guarded and healing yourself. So when it comes to this person's energy that is seeming unavailable, emotionally unavailable or otherwise, you could be feeling like I'd rather be single than beg somebody to be in a relationship with me or to do things right when it seems like it's just going all wrong. It's going the opposite way. And your intuition already knows the answers you seek about this person. You could still be trying to figure out what's going on. I feel like people are gossiping about this relationship, about you, about this person, you know, because it's something here, some type of energy here where they know they can tell that this person is not what you need, right? Justice is here. Somebody could definitely be dealing with the air sign, but I feel like this is some type of karma that's coming from you not looking at your, listening to your intuition or looking at other options. But it's the sense of you getting justice in the end. And it just may not be with this person. All right. We could always want something, but we it might not be meant for us. And when it's not meant for us, we don't get it. But justice, ace of pentacles, you're being protected. People are gossiping about you now, but justice and the ace of pentacles is here as a guarantee that you'll get everything that you desire. You'll have this financial stability, this blessed abundance, and this overflow of love and, and financial wealth in your life. With the ace of pentacles, this is good news, all right? You're going to get it. You're going to get exactly what you set out to get. And you're wise beyond your years. You're in this hermit energy. All right. So you're seeking inner wisdom and guidance on how to get this, how to be in alignment, to receive everything that's due to you. And you will continue to believe in yourself, Virgo, because it's happening for you, my love. And you might not think that it's happening, but it definitely is happening for you. Okay. It is. Show me dating, children. This strictly sexual energy. Yeah, with the five of wands, it could be a lot of back and forth, right? Five of wands, competition, disagreement, struggle, conflict, arguments, and somebody's being very assertive. So with this strictly sexual energy, you're wondering what this person's energetic shift is about. Somebody could definitely be wishy-washy. One minute, they're one way. One minute, they want you. They're all over you. And the next minute, they're distant. That's because somebody is into the sexual chemistry, but not really wanting to build a future, right? And they're not saying it. You know this because you're avoiding making a very tough decision with the two of swords. You know that. And you could definitely be at the crossroads with this dismiss, disregard, and ignore. Let's see what this means. You could be disregarding. So you feel like somebody is dismissing the idea of being in a family. And with the Ace of Wands, some type of action that you've been taking toward this person or swift communication, um, some type of messages or going back and forth with this person with the Ace of Wands energy, you could be talking to this person about how you feel, all right, and what you want. In the Nine of Pentacles, you could be really thinking about being single, doing things on your own with the Nine of Pentacles, independence, elegance success and wisdom and judgment all right a self-evaluation um a fair assessment of the facts some type of renewal and awakening here and with the ace of wands you're wanting to start over and do something start fresh all right this is a new beginning and good news excitement all right so and this is also enthusiasm all right, this is a passionate start, something that is going to require you to take action, some sort of action with the Ace of Wands energy. So this is an indicator that you will get a fresh start. You will get a new beginning. Something better is going to come. You don't have to be trapped in this situation. Somebody, um, I feel like somebody's ego is in the way, right, of them doing exactly what they know they should be doing. But it's okay, Virgo. Don't worry about it. Don't sweat the small stuff. You got something beautiful coming in. And you deserve it. So let's see what Spirit wants to tell you in closing, my loves. This was your energy for this evening. So this might be your quick read as well. And your, well, your nightcap as well. But um, that's what I have for you, my loves. I hope today was beautiful for you. And I pray that this reading gave you the insight and awareness that you need about whatever you're going through. All right.
it says the healing must be completed before your life can transform. So again, somebody needs to heal. Somebody could be doing something prematurely. All right, premature energy, taking premature actions, and you really need to heal. It says you have some intuitive ideas that you really need to act upon. And then we have let go. I mean, really let go. There's something better on the horizon. Well, I can't even lie to you. This is the same type of energy we were getting earlier with this, um, as far as these messages here, with these beautiful things coming in for you. Um, Spirit wants you to know there's still time to change. The road you're on is never too late. It's still time to change, all right? It's up to you. So for some of you guys, if you're sick of this person and the way they're treating you, walk away, all right? Somebody here doesn't want what you want and they're not telling you, but your intuition has. So you're being warned about this, okay? I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. I gotta go get my daughter from work. I will talk to you on the next video. Bye, my lovies.